Whoa, I think I found a place to record Purple Rain on. <laughs> anyway, uh, this video is a little bit like not really for this channel. We will tune a kalimba in this video. A few weeks ago I was talking about how cool of an instrument this thing is and then I tried to tune mine and I found out that there is no YouTube tutorial on how to really tune this thing in English. So I'll just show you what I came to understand and I spent like two days trying to tune it for the first time so I'll try to make it a little bit easier for you. All right, so let me zoom a little bit down here and show you what I'm doing. I'm not really sure that this is the proper way. If you have a better way to tune a Kalimba, please hit me up and tell me what is it and I'll uh, create an update for this video, okay? Okay, so if you have purchased the Kalimba that uh, they have sent me the Enya Kalimba, it comes with this bag with some stickers I've put some of the stickers already here so I know which tone I'm playing and also it comes with this little hammer and with this little tool and pretty much these are the tuning instruments that you need and this is not interesting for us right now we will be just using the kalimba and also and you need a chromatic tuner I'm using pitch lab it's a free one and I really like this thing I don't know if you see it but it uh, it show you the waves If you're quiet of course okay so it is really important to be chromatic tuner in other words to show you all the tones that are played because if it's just for guitar it will try to recognize the tone and assume it to a specific string and this will not work for us right here and something about using a chromatic app like this one is that you see if, even if I'm silent Is, it is hearing some noises so you need to be sure that you're you're plugging right next to the microphone and that you're quiet during this thing because if I'm talking I'm louder than the kalimba sometimes okay so the kalimba is tuned in the C major scale it's C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C again. And the next octave, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E. Now, some of these are not tuned. I'll show you how to tune it. Let's start from the very lowest one and go higher, okay? Okay, the C's kind of okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay, so the G is a little bit higher. All right. Maybe just a little bit lower. Okay, so here's the thing. If you need to make the tone lower, you need to use the hammer and strike here at the back. If you need to make the tone higher, you need to use the hammer in this direction. And here is how I'm using it. So I'm putting my thumb right here, right next to the G plate. I'm not sure how this is called, but I'll just call it a plate, okay? So, uh, to tune it, I'm putting my thumb right next to this G plate, right next to it, and I'm grabbing the hammer here at the very bottom of it, like this, and I'm hitting next to my thumb with the sharp part of it. And the idea for the sharp part is that it slides right next to your thumb and hit exactly where it is supposed to hit, okay? So let's do three hits and then we'll see the tone again. All right, we need to plug it a little bit more. All right, I think it's better. So next, A. Okay, it's kind of okay. 
B. All right, C. Okay, D. Okay, E. All right, this is very. Eh. Okay, so we need we need to make this tone higher. To make it higher, you need to plug from this part from the front part, all right? To, so to make it lower, you're using the hammer on this side. To make it higher, you're using the hammer on this side. So I'm putting my thumb right next to the E plate. Again, I'm grabbing the hammer like this and I'll start. For me, it works better to do it with little hits, not very strong ones, little hits, but a lot of them. All right, let's see now. Okay. A little bit from the other side. I just did it just a little bit more. Oh. So yeah, this is why it's a little bit like frustrating. And I think there should be a better way. Okay, and sometimes you get this buzz. I don't know if you hear it. So I, I saw on the internet one guy who is telling that you should put some paper below it. But for me, this thing doesn't work. What I'm doing here is just using this little tool and just slightly, but very, very slightly just loosen up or tighten up just a little bit. All right, I, I, I'm satisfied with this. Okay. Whew. That take a little bit. Okay, F. All right. The F is way too high. We need the tone to be lower, so we have to hit from this side right here. I'm putting my thumb and start hitting. All right, let's see. Whoa, I did it way too much. Okay, from the other side. Okay, we got it. All right, next one, G. So this is a little bit higher. We need to make it lower. So to make the tone lower, we are hitting from this part. We are there, but we have a bus, so I'll use this one to just slightly, very, very slightly. Let's see. All right, we fixed it. Okay, A. Okay, we need it a little bit lower. To make it lower, we are hitting from this part. Just one hit higher. All right, I'm satisfied with this. I don't know about you. Okay, it's not picking that up. Ah, okay, so one more tip that I just came up with. It's uh, when, when you're doing, especially these lower ones, you need to mute the other plugs with just your finger right here. And now you can. Now it hears it very clearly. Okay, we need to make the C 
lower. So that was it. I hope this was helpful and uh, have fun with your kalimba.